today's video, we're opening first edition Invasion of Chaos. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video where I have a very nice selection of packs today, including of course these five first edition Invasion of Chaos. We got these out of a collection like a long time ago and I've just been sitting waiting to open them and I decided today was finally the day. Before we get into the rest of the video, we have a giveaway. I will be giving away as well as Eric, who was a the guy who sold me every single pack, will be giving away every QCR promo from Legendary Collection 25th, the whole set. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below, will we pull anything amazing in this video? And make sure to shout out Eric. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an awesome auction platform that I'm consistently streaming on. And my next stream is this Thursday where we'll be opening a first edition Rise of Destiny hobby box. So we have a chance at the Ulti Creator, the Ulti Perfect Machine King, and many other awesome cards. So if you want to be there to watch the stream, or you want to buy some packs, or you want to win giveaways, then all you have to do is click the link down below, get $15 free credit if you're a new user, then go bookmark my stream by typing in Ruxin34 in the search bar, and then finding my shows on the shows tab, and then bookmarking it. I also have another stream coming next Thursday, so you might want to bookmark that while you're over there. This is going to be a fun stream. It's at 4 p.m. on Thursday. I know that's July 4th for all you U.S. people, but we did it a little earlier so we can avoid fireworks and stuff if you're not from the u.s it doesn't even matter so just it's actually good for you guys because it's a little earlier for all the european watchers and stuff like that so make sure you bookmark the stream it's gonna be super fun and i hope to see you guys there so we also have some pretty amazing products today we have a dark legends blister with the gore's emissary of darkness promo which is pretty awesome a gx special edition with a great selection with the error wild heart it's not a secret rare it should be very beautiful looking and then i actually found three random packs of terminal revenge i keep somehow not opening the last packs i have so i have three left we have a couple of rarity one and rarity two because those are always super fun a legacy of darkness from 2003 and then three labyrinth of nightmare from 2003 and then a champion pack too so we're talking very nice packs today a few newer i know some people are gonna be oh no filler packs yeah look guys Look, I'm not going to do a three-minute video, okay? First of all, these are all fun. Rarity 1, Rarity 2, they're fun. Terminal Revenge, not fun for me. Maybe more fun for you to watch me suffer. And, of course, these blisters are awesome as well, okay? I can't fit that all in the title, all right? And you're not, you wouldn't click it if it said, I'm going to open Invasion of Chaos, I'm with the Nightmare, Legacy of Darkness, Rarity 1, Rarity 2, Bounce Legend, Terminal Revenge, Dark Legends, and a GX Special. You wouldn't read all that. You don't got time for that. So, why well, just wasted another two minutes? This is your fault, okay? Okay, it's partially my fault. That both of our faults, okay? And look, it's fun, okay? And just enjoy it. Sit back and enjoy it. The Terminal Revenge, come on. It's going to be fun. And speaking of, we do have a Whatnot stream live tonight opening Rise of Destiny. I know it's July 4th, so happy July 4th to everybody who's from the U.S. Uh, I will be doing a stream. It's kind of tonight. It's like afternoon at 4 p.m. Central. So you still got time to go to all your July 4th fireworks and stuff like that. Come hang out. We're opening Rise of Destiny first edition hobby box. It's going to be very fun. I want to see you guys there. This is kind of a July 4th special as well as talking about how we have a big whatnot stream tonight. You get $15 free credit if you're a new user. So go check it out uh, down below. Psychic and Punisher. Very nice. There's a big stream tonight for Ben Lance. Solemn Judgment Collector. Rare. See, oh, look how fun this is. Magician Souls. I mean, how could you call this filler? I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. I mean, look at that card. That is beautiful. Looks great. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> good stuff so far. Yeah. So yeah, do not miss the one on stream tonight, guys. If you guys are not, you know, setting off fireworks at four in the afternoon, make sure you come to the stream, hang out, and then you can get pumped by some awesome pulls. And then you can go be like, yeah, let's go set off some fireworks to celebrate the awesome um, creator ultimate rare that Ruxin pulled on whatnot. It's going to be great. So make sure you guys come hang out. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited as usual. There will be a lot of giveaways, as usual. A lot of good stuff being given away to you guys. So if you want to do that, check it out. Link in the description. Baron! Oh, I did the wrong pack trick or something. Baron Ultimate Rare. Too bad it's banned. That's a nice card, though. Uh, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Elich. Inspector Border. Yeah, but definitely did the wrong pack trick. Should have been one for the back, I guess. I thought I did two. Maybe I did three by accident. Not sure. All right, back to... Let's, let's get to old school. Let's get to old school. For all you guys who are angry that we are opening a couple of packs that are not from 2003. I mean, look, I don't have a lot of 2003 packs, okay, guys? I know I open a lot of them, but, you know, if we open 30 a video, I'm never going to be able to do this. So you got to... You gotta endure some terminal revenge, okay? One, two, three, four, because we're gonna get that that magia, which by the way has, is probably the most expensive card being bull, except maybe CED first dead, BLS first dead. Those might outpace it. Curse of the Mass Beast, Spy Mage, Baytal, Forgiving Maiden. We have Saint Joan, Dragonic Attack. Come on, baby. Oh, 
Bazoo, the Soul Eater. Let's go. Bazoo looking nice and clean. Centering is a little bit off. Pushed that way a little bit. 1600. He can banish cards to gain 300 attack. Up to three. And uh, this is the original one. So up to three cards. It doesn't say monster cards. It says cards on the original one. So it was actually really good. Very nice card. All right. And if you guys have not seen recent videos we've been doing, uh, we put out a lot of really cool stuff recently. So make sure you go check that out. I just did Labyrinth Nightmares. Let's go back to this. Uh, we put out a lot of really cool stuff. So go check those out. We did a top 10 update to the best polls of all time. We've done... Um the announcement for 250k which makes sure you subscribe so we get there quicker so we can do that awesomeness archery and advent so no magia in those we tried and a lot of other awesome videos recently so go check those out uh after this video okay let's open this gx special edition um these are always really awkward to show because they're so large i'm going to just get the packs out very carefully let's go crv very nice the lost millennium I'm trying to get the promo out very carefully it seems like i did pretty good that green is beautiful in the background and then elemental energy so let's add those to our pile real quick i might as well open the uh dark legends while we're at it i mean that promo looks sweet looks like it's actually in decent shape dark legends has a gores too which is pretty awesome so let's get this out there's two packs you may or may not have ever even seen this dark legends uh blister pack it's pretty rare okay dark legends very cool there's our promo, which is definitely a little bent because these are really just poorly packaged. They're hard to hard to not be bent. Uh, and then Dark Legends, get those out of there. Okay, now we're looking at some serious craziness. Let's go through, you know, let's make it all old school. Let's do the rarities first and then we'll be 100% old school the rest of the way. Uh, let's do one from the back. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. Uh, I guess, what was the big card again? Ash Blossom's rarity one. Rarity two is IP and, and Oppo alt arts. Yeah, okay. Illusion of Chaos. Dude, that looks amazing. That looks good. Okay, that is sweet. Uh, Twin Twisters, number 38, Son of Us, and Exo Sisters pack. So secret rares. Sure, sure. Why not? Rarity one, one last chance. I'm not pulled Ash since we did all the original Rarity one openings, and so it has been a while. Uh, yeah, been quite a while since we've done that. One from the back. Should work. Pot of Desires, great cards. Compulsory, Striker Dragoon, Herald of the Arc Light, and Vision Hero Fair. So, Rarity One letting us down, unfortunately. Let's try the Lost Millennium next. This is an unlimited pack. I'm guessing a retail pack. So, we're wanting something like Ancient Gear Beast, uh, DD Survivor, I think is in here. Would be pretty cool as an ulti. No spell stopping statute ulti, please. That's what we always get. Guardian Statue. There's a statue. Battery Man Double A. I need some of those. Mind Golem. Elemental Hero Clayman's pretty cool. Pull that out. Uh, Final Ritual. Moy Interceptor Cannons. Elemental Hero Avian. Double Elemental Hero. And, okay, could be Ultimate Rare. What's the uh, Mistress Doriato? That'd be huge. Oh, or regular Rare Mistress Doriato. That's not as huge. Still not bad. We tried. We almost predicted it. Let's open one Labyrinth of Nightmare pack. Leave us with one left and see what we can get. If you guys didn't like the old school openings, make sure you follow me on Whatnot. We are, we are streaming tonight, as I mentioned. But we do basically all old school. Okay, we do the new releases as well. But uh, most of the time, we're doing an old school box opening or something like that. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you follow me there. That's going to be live events and stuff. Flying uh, fish. And you can also buy packs as well. Lightning Blade. We have Garuda the Wind Spirit. Jam Defender. And... Gilosaurus, a special summon. You may treat the normal summon of this card as a special summon. If you select special summon, your opponent may select a monster from his or her graveyard. Special summon that monster of the field. Unless they don't have one in their graveyard, then it's free. Okay, Dark Legends, and then we're at one of everything except the first set IOC. I'm, I'm trying to keep those a little bit, because, you know, first set IOC is pretty amazing. Don't open that very often. So it, I'm hoping that it is hobby, because it did... The guy that sold it to me, it was in a hobby box. So I'm hoping that it came out of that box. Lord of D, Luminous Spark, UFO Turtle... Gravekeeper Servant, Black Pendant, Mask of Darkness. I think that means that we got nothing, right? Okay, Thunder Dragon's pretty good. Arm Ninja, Left Arm. Yes, Left Arm of the Forbidden One. Awesome. Baby Dragon. Dark Legends is awesome because you can pull Exodia in common outside of the head, which is an ultra rare. Which back then, I mean, that was, that was pretty awesome. Okay, let's try one Invasion of Chaos pack. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get anything. The guy told me that he weighed him, and he didn't seem like somebody who was going to, like, necessarily weigh them, you know, and it would be going to be 100% accurate. So I was like, you know what, let's just open all of them. I don't know what's going to happen. I think there's supposed to be at least one foil if his stuff was right, but we'll find out. Okay, first edition. I, I really just, I'm going in basically expecting nothing and hoping for anything, but actually I'm really hoping for CD because we've never pulled it. But <laughs> if we do get that, that's going to be huge. First edition, I mean, first edition IST commons are already pretty sweet because this is a pretty rare set. 
We have some print lines on the back. You guys might not be... Yeah, there it is. Right across the middle on all of them. Yep, one, two, three. Man, that one's dinged up. Four. Let's see. We have the Des Kangaroo. Prickle Fairy. Coach Goblin. Lord Poison. Ojama Black. That's... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this in PSA 10 was actually worth something, just because it's classic. Blasting the Ruins. Chaos Necromancer. Neobug, and we have Stray Lamb. Starting it off with a rare. So IOC pack number one, first edition, dud. We'll see if saving these was actually worth it or if there's nothing inside. Let's do our let's do our Legacy of Darkness pack, actually. Legacy of Darkness. We have a champion pack too. Almost definitely light, but you never know. You never really know. Let's get a Yada or an injection fairy lily here. We have Dragon Manipulator, Life Absorbing Machine, Greatest Option. Frontier Wise Man, Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation, Super Robo Yaru, and a ray of revealing light. That is a ray, and it is revealed that there is no foil inside. Okay, um, mm, mm, this is tough. Let's do EEN next. We might do another IOC after this. EEN next, Elemental Energy. Will we pull something amazing? Like Shining Flare Wingman, I don't care if it's an Ultra. That'd be sweet. One, two, three, four. A lot of these cards are just dinged up. Hydrogeton, we have Simultaneous Loss. The Dark World Lightning. Lightning Strike! It's Will Cyber. It's I don't know how to say that. Wild Heart, hey, where's his buddy? We have the original Wild Heart and we have the promo Wild Heart. And that means we have three Elemental Heroes pulled so far. That's pretty sick. W Wing Catapult, Dark Deal, Oja Magic, and Gold Gold, Woo Lord of Dark World, super rare. That is not guaranteed. We will take that. Woo Lord of Dark World, pretty awesome Dark World card. Comes in ulti, but I think that would probably be in a hobby pack, so we probably wouldn't get that. All right, I think it's time to try IOC Pack Numero Dos. Hopefully, there's one foil in here. Two would be amazing. At least one would be good. And if it's hot and ultra or above, it's going to be incredible. One, two, three, four. Okay. I think that's right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Why do I feel like there's less cards in here? One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight cards in here. Oh, great. Okay. Multiplication of ants. I'm scared now. Terra King Salmon. Recycle. Zero gravity. There's only eight cards in here. Chop man, the desperate outlaw. Yeah. Last time we pulled this guy, we pulled the BLS. It might not have been the last time, but in the same pack, we had Chop man, we had BLS. Murning algae. And a compulsory evacuate. It's literally missing a card. It's literally missing a card. Compulse is a great card, but three, six, eight cards feels really sad. So if you like did any weighing, I mean, that one was obviously going to weigh way less because it had. So I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what to expect now. We have Dark Legends. Let's keep going. That's scary. There's an upstart right at the front. Good card. I don't know how to do a pack trick on this one. So we're just going to go. Upstart's a great card. Uh, Nimble Bumonga. Black Pendant. Black Illusion Ritual. Catapult Turtle. And Gazelle, the king of mythical... Summon Skull, that's pretty awesome. Right leg, I'm going to pull those out. Axe of Spare, Elegant Egotist. Dark Legend would, would be a fun, like, sealed set. If you open Dark Legends and just played, uh, you know, old school format, basically, that'd be really fun. We are left with six packs left. A lot of stuff is good. Let's go to CRV. Let's just get the GX out of the... I say out of the way, I mean... It's fun set, so it's not really out of the way. Let's try to pull Cyber in. Ultra rare. I'm guessing there's no ultis in this in this uh, this pack specifically. Potted Generosity. I mean, ultis of uh, ultis of hobby cards. We have Iowa, Carbonai, Arrival appears. Psychroid. He's got he's gonna punch you with his with his handles. Poison Draw Frog. And come on. System down. Pay a thousand life points. Remove and play all machine type monsters from your opponent's side of the field and in their graveyard. That's kind of insane. All right, so far, pretty iffy opening. We started off hot with a bazoo. We just need one big pull to turn the whole thing around. Don't forget, if you want to see more old school open up tonight at 4 p.m. Central, make sure you follow on whatnot. And uh, happy July 4th, everybody. Okay, let's do champion pack next. Only three cards in here. I don't know where it's going to pop up. MFC, or not MFC, Moth would be huge, but I'm guessing this is light. It's very unlikely you find a unweighed champion pack these days and the chances are very low but if it is the case it'd be pretty awesome okay i got the right direction i'm gonna do this just in case that's the rare foil we have happy lover that's actually i think like an eight dollar card so not bad rush recklessly the arkansas razorbacks and dark master zork okay dark master zork cool cards classic cards but they are not 
foils. Happy Lover is actually really nice, so we'll take that. Okay, three packs. I think I'm going to save the IOC for the end. Let's just save those last IOC. Let's try to get something out of Labyrinth of Nightmare. So far, only a few foils, but what do you expect from a lot of loose packs? I mean, honestly, this is pretty tough. One, two, three, four. Let's make that right there something crazy. Spirit Elimination. We got Skull Lair. Cyclone Laser. Hysteric Fairy. The Dark Duel. Dream Sprite. Humanoid Worm Drake. That's a short print right there. Grave Robber's Retribution. And we have... Uh, Revival Jam! Yes! That's actually such an awesome one. That is beautiful. Revival Jam centered in everything. This one might be getting graded. It's an unlimb, but centered pretty well, pretty clean. I think that definitely has a chance at PSA 10. Let's go ahead and send you into the card saver, baby. So Labyrinth of the Nightmare, pretty clutch for us so far. That's definitely our best pull so far. Leave me us a three pack slot. And look, this could really top it. This is first dead Invasion of Chaos. So it's a chance at Chaos Ember Dragon first dead. Black Cluster Soldier, Dark Magician of Chaos. I mean, really big cards. And if we pull any of those, this is a huge success in terms of video and my happiness. Okay, first edition, here we go. Uh, I take Dimension Fusion as well, that'd be big. I have pulled that before, but I would take that again. One, two, three, what in the world is going on right there? Okay, somebody snotted on that one. Let's see if we can get something big. We have Balloon Lazard, Chaos Greed, Earth Chance, The Thing in the Crater, Anti-Aircraft, Aircraft, Aircraft Flower. Yellow Luster Shield, give us a chop, man. We need that luck. We have Burning Algae. Ojama Black's back at there. He did it. He was the one who did it. Oh, it's the next card. I think it's the next card. Okay. Chaos of a Dragon, please, please, loose pack. Please make it happen. CED. This will be one of our best pulls ever. Come on. Goodness, a big burn. Talk about big burned to me. I am big burned. This is one of the worst foils in the original 11. You can't even tell it's a foil. There it is. I, I barely got it. You guys see that? If you look at it straight on, it looks like a common. That might be the most boring card we could have bought. <laughs> How's the centering on it? I think we grade a big burn just for uh, good memes. I'm pulling a terrible card. Eh, I'll probably sit it in. It's not perfect, but I'll sit it in. All right. So if, if that was the only foil in these five, this is a huge L. <laughs> I mean, it's better than zero, but hardly. It's a little better. Not much better. Okay. That's depressing. That is big depressing. <laughs> big burn. I mean, it's the perfect name. It's like Spirit Message L. It's just like describing what happened. Big burn. Okay, one, two, three, four from the back. I mean, what else can we get? Berserk Gorilla first ad, that'd be cool. Chaos Sork first ad, that's pretty dope, actually. What's that look? Eh, it's got scuffing. Otherwise, I'd grade it. Gore Turtle of Illusions. Jade Insect Whistle, Blasting the Ruins. The Neo Bug, a huge bug-like monster said to come from another planet. It gathers in swarms. Salvage. Dimension Distortion and Bay, give us something awesome. Get Sufuma. Not what I would consider awesome. This is leaving us with one final pack, everybody. One more pack. If you guys want to see more First Dead packs open, make sure you show up at the Whatnot stream tonight at 4 p.m. Central. It's going to be awesome. We're going to open some Rise of Destiny and bookmark next week's stream as well, which is going to be something even more old school and awesome. So I want to see you guys there. Okay, last pack magic. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for the 250K coming up too. So that's going to be fun. Last pack magic. Here we go. Sacred Crane. Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell. It's classic. Gigantus, that's a pretty good common. We'll take that. Multiplication of Ants. Sylphid. Fiend Sand Mirror. The Molten Zombie. Salty Grey. And last card magic. Dark Dry Ceratops. The scary bird thing. 2400 tribute. Okay. Not a terrible card, but also, yeah, that, that was a little sad how that turned out. We did end up pulling a couple cards I'm going to send to get graded, so I guess it could be worse. So I'll see you guys tonight at 4 p.m. Central on one night. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.